Today's video is going to be a ginormous haul. So me and my friend Lily from Animal Magic went on a, a massive shopping haul and yeah we bought a load and that's because in a month or so I'm going to be getting two of my own gerbils. So of course we had to go out and buy all the supplies and I just could not help myself so yeah I bought quite a bit. It was so exciting and really fun so we're going to show you what we bought. So let's get on with it, we'll start off with Pets at Home. So the first thing that I got from Pets at Home was this Woodland Coconut Hut. Um, I've heard so much about these, loads of people seem to say they're really good. They're really really thick and they're a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Um, and so that was really good, I was really pleased with that. That was £4 so quite expensive but it is a good product so I'd say it's worth the money. So the first thing I purchased was this Floral Feast by Woodlands. I thought I'd give it a go as I've heard lots of good things about the forages from Woodlands. This was £3 and yeah, it just looked like a nice healthy forage for the gerbils to try. So the first thing I got was one of these um, Gnaw and Climb Hide and Seek Cubes by Pets at Home. Um, these are again really good, I know a lot of you have these and say lots of good things about them. So I thought I'd pick one of them up and that was £3.50. But we did have a few problems with these, which Alicia will discuss now. So I also picked up my own, and as you can see, it looks like quite a normal one. But here, there is a red mark, and on all of the little areas, it's cracked. Which is kind of disappointing, because that means it won't last as long with the gerbils. And I will be mentioning this to pets at home, just to make sure other people that buy these are getting, you know, the money's worth. We also find lots of webs inside of these, and... A spider, so God knows what other bugs have been inside there for what I am going to give my pets. So I'm a bit disappointed about that because £3.50 is quite a lot of money really. But obviously there's nothing we can do about that. So the next thing that I picked up was one of these chinchilla lookout ledges. Um, these do say they're for chinchillas but they're really great for any small animals. And they come in small and large, I did get a small one. And it was £4 from Pets at Home, I just thought the gerbils would like to climb on it and jump on it. And it'd be really fun for them, so I picked one of them up. Then I went ahead and bought some Rollinis in the berry flavour. All of my pets have tried the apple flavour so I thought I'd give the berry flavour a good go and that was £1. The next thing that I got was a small bale of Pets at Home wood shavings. Um, I actually got this free with a cage that I got. I can't really show you the cage because now it's at my grandma's because I'm going to get it for my birthday and she's wrapped it up. So I did get these free which was a small bale of wood shavings so that was really great. Um, and the next thing that I got free with the cage was actually a sample pack of the Pets at Home gerbil muesli. I do want to feed my gerbils on Jerry Gerbil, but they get fed this in the shop and I'm going to get my gerbils from Pets at Home, so I thought this would be great to transition them onto Jerry Gerbil, so I'm really happy I've got this. Then I went ahead and bought this wooden cheese block, which was £3 from Pets at Home. I thought it was a great buy with two large holes, which I could use for the dwarf hamsters. In fact, it's got four. <laughs> but yeah, just a lovely chew. So the next thing I picked up was one of these free um, pet food measurers. These, you can just find them in the food aisle and pets at home. Um, and they have the measurements for loads of different small pets, from chinchillas to rats to hamsters to chipmunks to gerbils. Basically every small pet you can think of, it will be on here and they have the measurements for them and basically you just measure their food in this and that is such a good idea, I'm so happy I picked one of these up. Then I got this £4 large um, bag, 3 kilograms of chinchilla dusting powder. It just said, it does say dust but it's actually completely safe. The thing I got was this magazine and this is free with the My VIP package. I haven't actually got a VIP package yet, so I did pick up one of these which tells you all about how to apply for a VIP package. They offer you one of these when you pay and um, because I didn't have one I picked one of these up so I can get points and um, I can get one of these magazines free. So I'm happy to pick that up. And the great thing about this magazine is that it comes with vouchers in the back and lots of competitions that you can enter so you can save money on all your pet supplies. The next thing I picked up from Pets at Home is the gerbil muesli. This was £2.50 and I'm going to mix that in with some other food that we've got and just make sure it's a nice healthy diet, which I'll show you in a like 
video later. So the next place we went to was Poundland and of course we're not going to say the prices on this because as you guys know everything's a pound. So the first thing we picked up was these measuring cups and measuring spoons. They came in a pack um, for one pound you got the measuring cups and the measuring spoons so we each picked up one of them and we each got one in purple they also do them in pink we thought these would be great for measuring out gerbil food and treats and stuff like that and also baking and general stuff so these would be really helpful for that then the last thing I got from Poundland were these Heinz apple biscotti snack biscuits these are meant for babies but are totally safe for gerbils and hamsters and generally small animals but you might want to check the back of the packet for um, your particular rodent but yeah I thought I'd pick up those because they're a nice treat and um, I did get a few more things from Poundland one of the first ones was these plastic tubs I thought these would be great for storing um, treats in and they come in a pack of four I got green and blue but you can also get pink and purple Okay, so the next thing I got was a little teacup. Um, this is such a cute ornament and I thought it'd be great for a sand bath for my gerbils and it just looks super cute, so I got that. So the next place we went to was Wilkinson's where I picked up some Wilkinson's Hutch and Cage Disinfectant. I know a lot of you guys love this stuff, so I thought I'd pick some of that up and that was £2.79. Then I went ahead and got the only thing I really picked up was these Wilco wood shavings which are aspen and completely safe. I thought I'd give them a go and I have tried these before so I just bought them again and these are 60p. Um, the next thing I got was a few jars um, for food storage and um, this one was £4. It's a Kilner jar so it's really good quality and I just thought that would be great for storing my gerbil food in and it would look super cute in there too. Um, the next thing I got was another jar. This one was £2.50 and I thought that would just be cute for storing mealworms in which I'm going to add to their food. And then the final thing I got from Wilkinson's was £1.25 and is this small Kilner jar and I'm going to store porridge oats in there which I'm also going to add to their food so I just picked that up. And then I just quickly nipped into Holland and Barrett and got this linseed which I always add to their food because it's great for their coat and gives them a nice and shiny coat. And that was just 99p. And it's only a small bag but there's plenty in there to go around. So the next place we went to was a local pet shop um, where I picked up some dried mealworms. I'm going to put these in the jar I just mentioned and these were £2.50. They're good for protein so I thought I'd pick... I then went um, ahead and bought these giant carrots which were £1.95 and um, these are by Supreme Pet Food and I thought I'd give them a go because the stickles are also really good. The next thing I got was a pack of um, sunflower hearts which are also called hold sunflower seeds. These are really good treats for gerbils so they are quite fatty so you have to feed them in moderation and these were £1.40. I then got this little salt saver which was by Super Pet and it's a really pretty colour which is why I got it mostly and I don't really give these to my pets very often so I thought I'd just you know pick up another one it was only 20p. Next thing I got was this apple mineral chew and um, we really need to give pets these because they're full of minerals hence the name um, and they are generally good for general health and this was only 80 pence. The final thing I bought on my shopping trip were these gorgeous little Antos mini toothbrushy dog chewy things and yeah they're so cute and you can get bigger ones but I find my pets never finish them so instead I picked up the small ones, eight of them for 22p per piece and I thought that was a great buy. There's several more things I bought in town, um, the first was this mini mouse bottle um, I got this from the local pet shop again and this was only 90 pence so I thought I'd get one of them for the gerbils. The next thing I got was of course a bottle brush to clean the bottle. Um, this was quite cheap, it was only one fifty-five, which is quite good for a bottle brush really. And it's got this nice long stick so you can get it into the bottle quite easily because a lot of them have short ones of these. So I thought I'd pick that up, so that looks good. The next thing I got was some Supreme Jerry Gerbil. I know a lot of you love this food so I thought I'd pick some of that up too. And that was two ninety nine, which is quite a good deal if you ask me. And then the final thing that I picked up in town um, was one of these build and bite um, toys and you can build it however you want, I build it like this, um, but when your pets get bored with it you can change it so that's really good and that was £2.99 also.
Um, I also forgot, I also picked up this um, little round chew, it's a little green chew, and that was only 79 pence, so I just thought that was quite good, it's good quality, so I thought I'd get that. And finally is what I got her for her birthday. So, where shall we begin? Um, so the first thing Alicia got me was this little wooden chew dumbbell, um, and this is really really cute. I'm sure they'll love to chew this, they'll love to roll it around and it's generally really good. The next thing she got me are some Boredom Breaker Naturals Mixed Dairy Drops. Now these aren't too healthy for the pets but they absolutely love things like this. So I'm so happy she picked some of these up for me. They're really good and I'm really happy with these. And they were from Pound Stretcher. The next thing that she got me was this Wilco Budgie Seed Bar. Um, this is full of millet seed and it's just a treat bar that you can hang up in the cage and I know that her gerbils love this so hopefully mine will too. And that was also from Wilkinson's, hence the name. Oh and the pet hut, it's it's not pound stretcher, it's the pet hut which is an addition. Next thing she got me was these Rotostack Play play Noz Chews um, and they're all little, different little fruity shapes and they're so cute and I'm really happy she got me some of these. And they were also from the pet hut. The next thing I got were these pick and mix um, cheese wedges. These are also really good. I've been really wanting to get some of these for gerbils. So I'm so happy that she got me some of these. The next thing she got was actually just a cardboard tube, but it's so thick and so sturdy and they'll take ages to get through this. So I'm so happy she got one of these for me. And that is really good. I don't know if you can see the thickness of that, but I'm so happy with this. I can't even crush it, it's that hard. The next thing she got me was this Fruities Whole Fruits um, Chew. It's like a banana shape and it's got these little fruits in and you can pop them in the little holes here and it hangs up in the cage so I'm so happy she got me that. That is really, really cute. And then the final thing she got me was this, um, was this Herbie House and um, I'm really, really pleased with this. I will get it out but it goes everywhere. So it's basically one of these little houses with a little door and a little window and I'm so happy with that because the gerbils will love to chew it up and they'll love to sleep in it and they'll generally love it. So I'm really, really happy that she got me this. So thank you so much, Alicia. So we hope you enjoyed this massive haul that we got and don't forget to subscribe. Just click on this big box here to go and subscribe to Animal Magic. Um, I would really, it would really mean the world to me to get subscribers because I have just started my channel. So if you want to see gerbil and cat care videos, DIYs, anything, come see my channel and it would really, really help me out. Thank you. There'll be even more of these wonderful videos and don't forget to subscribe to me. The link will just be here on this little boxy thing. Oh. So just go ahead and subscribe. Take you two seconds and it'll make my day. So we hope you enjoyed our video and we hope to see you next time. There'll be a couple more of our joint videos like this because we love doing videos together. I mean, Lily will be getting her gerbils and there'll be lots and lots of gerbil care videos like there is on my channel. So we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. So remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to both of our channels and comment below if you want to see any more videos or if you would like hearing more about any product or if you'd like to tell us anything. Thank you.